Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are doing a full face tutorial with new products, well mostly new. I am going to be using a lot of the new things that I shared with you in my previous haul video of the new things that I purchased from Sephora. And I'm also going to be adding a few things that I haven't really talked about much on camera or shown on camera. I have lots of new things, lots of makeup, and it's almost impossible to share everything. So I'm trying to incorporate as many new things on this channel as I can when I do these full face of new products and trying to use things that I have not already shared and talked about or shown you. So we are going to kind of do a full face and I'm going to share my thoughts, first impressions and kind of like mini reviews and just my thoughts along the way. We're going to chat about all things makeup and this is the look that we're doing today. Very lightweight, very easy, dewy, fresh, summery, just summer vibes and I love it. I am here for it and I hope you will enjoy it. So if you want to see how we got to this look, then just continue watching. So we're going to start with the primer. I'm going to use the Cali Ray So Blown Primer. It is very hot and we're all experiencing those really intense heat temperatures, the heat waves coming through and I want to ensure that I'm not going to get oily in those areas where I would naturally produce oil. So I'm gonna just take a small little pearl size amount and this is supposed to help with controlling oil and mattifying the skin, but it also doesn't dry out the skin. So it's a really nice formula and I've had this for months. So this is obviously not a new product, but I do wanna take into account the heat, the summertime when doing my base products and complexion because that makes a huge difference in the way things wear throughout the day. So for today's foundation, I'm going to use one that I have not used with you on camera, I don't think, yet. Um, it's been like an Allure Best of Beauty. It's one of the top rated foundations. It's been a very buzzed about foundation for over a decade at this point. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. My normal go-to is the Ambient Soft Glow from Hourglass. I love this foundation, but I'm going to use this one today. I have the shade 1N0 Porcelain, and it is pretty light. It's not my current summer color, but we're going to make it work with some bronzer. And this one, unfortunately, does not have a pump, so you have to kind of pour it out onto a palette or your finger somehow. But I'm only going to do a little bit, and I'm going to start with just a dot on each cheek forehead, nose, and chin area. This is the A Cosmetics brush. I've talked about this quite a bit. This brush is really fantastic. It can do every single step of my routine without needing to bring in any additional tools. So this is a must in my collection and I use it for everything every single day. So I'm gonna use that to work this product. As you can see, it is pretty light, but we're gonna add bronzer. And I'm gonna focus mostly on the center of the face and then lightly fade this out towards the parameters of my face to keep everything really light. For today's concealer, I'm going to show you the Natasha Denona on camera. I have been using this off camera. I had the shade P1, and I've been kind of playing around with it, trying to figure out what my thoughts are, because this is a fairly new concealer to the market. I really like the doe foot applicator. It's a kind of pointed sponge tip, which is really neat. And P2, or P, sorry, P1, is the peachy kind of correcting shade. It's... A really nice formula so far. I've enjoyed it. I use my sponge. This is an e.l.f. beauty sponge that's been slightly dampened and I blend that out and then what I've been doing is taking my finger and just kind of tapping and making sure it's really well blended under the eye. Here. So now for some setting powder. This one is a viral setting powder that Everyone is talking about it has sold out quite a bit. I almost purchased it during the last savings event that Sephora had, but then I ended up not going for it just because I wasn't quite sure. But when I saw that they came out with travel sizes for $29, I decided that it was just, that was the pull that I needed. The push in the direction of purchase. <laughs> and I'm talking about the new Givenchy powders in the travel sizes. So the shade that I have is the lighter color and this one is number two satin blanc and it has four different colors I just took the seal off and we're gonna just kind of tap so I'm gonna use my sponge to apply that and see how that blends into my concealer and how that sets my under eye I feel like I need a little bit more product and I do notice a little bit of fragrance with this powder there's something to it I think a lot of these 
luxury brands, they tend to put fragrances. Like Gucci does that. Dior. They all do it. It's, it's part of the experience. Okay. Well, that actually is... Hmm, that is really nice. Which I'm glad because it wasn't cheap. I am impressed. And they have different colors for different skin tones and different effects. So I actually like that. And my under eye feels nice and smooth. It's not dry and matte feeling, but it doesn't have that tack and creaminess from the concealer anymore. So yay. Love that. Okay, so now I need to do my brows. I don't have anything new for my brows, but I will show you what I normally use. And that's the Precisely My Brow Pencil in number three from Benefit. And this is the NYX Brow Glue, which I've been testing out and I do enjoy it. So I'm going to do these off camera. And then I did a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I did the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which I always use, and got my lids kind of prepped and ready to go for eyeshadow. I'm going to put a little bit of my lip serum from Makeup by Mario in pink glow because my lips are feeling a little dry today. Just kind of getting them ready for my lip combo for the day. We need to add some dimension and color to the skin. So I'm going to be using the bronzer duo from Give Beauty that I shared in my last video, which was a quick haul of the new things that I recently picked up. And I chose a shade called Heaten Up. And I'm pretty sure this is the one for more of the fair skin tones. It is quite light and I'm kind of wondering if I messed up with the color online because this is pretty light. This bottom one here looks almost like it won't do a thing for me, <laughs> but we shall see. And then you have a cream at the top. That looks, it smells like, like old, not like old expired lipstick, but it smells like the old classic lipstick formula. I don't know why I thought of that. Like my mom's old Mary Kay lipsticks when I was growing up. <laughs> is that just me? I don't know. But it is blending out pretty nicely, I would say. And I'll have to just kind of continue to work this into the skin. It may not give me enough bronze to really make this foundation sort of match the rest of my body. But I'm going to try to make do with what I got. Now that I have enough of that cream, I don't want to put any more on. I'm going to wipe off my brush. And then I'm going to go into the bottom and see if I could maybe use that to kind of set and, okay. I kind of underestimated this light powder a little bit here. Okay. You see the difference? Just cream, cream and powder. Okay, cream and powder is the way to go. So now I know that's my preferred layering technique here to use both together I think it's best I don't like the cream by itself too much and I will just show you maybe the camera might pick up how it's kind of it looks a little I don't know kind of glossy in a way so it's a little bit of a dewier finish than I prefer but that's okay we're gonna just kind of leave it and see how it wears throughout the day and I hope that it kind of wears nicely um, in the summer heat so for blush, I'm going to use one from Lawless. I am not familiar with this brand beyond their plumping Forget the Filler Gloss. This is one of the products that was in that Sephora favorite set that I shared in my last video, which I said is a great value. It was $49 for a set of curated pieces. Four of those are full sizes, and this is one of them. And then the sizes of everything else, you just can't beat the $49 price point. So snag it if it's still available. Pick it up. Don't sleep on it. This is the blush. It's the... Make Me Blush Talc Free Blush in Indian Summer. And it looks really pretty. It kind of looks a little bit berry, kind of fall, winter type of shade. But we'll see because this could be that sort of bright pinky tone. Again, a cosmetics brush. I'm going to just continue to use that one. And I'm going to load up my brush and tap off the excess and then start kind of stippling that. Oh, that's pretty. I was thinking that it was going to be kind of berry and fallish and not quite bright and bold for spring and summer, you know, like those pinks and corals, that Barbie color that everybody's talking about now because of the Barbie movie. But that, 
That's really nice. It is a little bit more of a toasty kind of berry. And I do like taking it over the nose for like a little, you know, a little sunburnt, sun kiss kind of look without the actual sun. So no sun damage there. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Things are looking up. <laughs> I can't with myself. Oh my God. Oh, geez, Louise. I need to get out more. <laughs> Wow, I feel like I'm blushing even more than usual. I don't know why I said that. That's, it's pretty. It's a really nice blush. Blends out really pretty. It's not fully matte, but it's not glowy and dewy. There's no shimmer or glitter. It's actually kind of like a nice satiny kind of matte, like a demi matte. I don't know how to describe it too well, but you know, you get the idea. It's soft, but there is a bit of glow, and I think it's just, everything underneath it's not the blush itself but that's that's really nice so for highlighter today I'm gonna to use a rare beauty one this is not new I just don't have a brand new highlighter to share with you in today's video so I'm gonna just pick one that I haven't used in a while and this is the rare beauty exhilarate highlighter and it's that really pretty kind of champagne goldy color this one is one that you have to kind of tread softly because it is intense very intense so I just kind of tap my brush one time and that's it and then I tap on my napkin and then just kind of tap tap on my cheeks and I lightly layer until I get the desired intensity because if I go straight in from here to my face it's like blinding you will see me from another planet it is intense so if you don't like the blinding highlight this may not be the one for you because the first time I used it, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, and I love me some highlight. Don't get me wrong, but it was like, dare I say Tin Man vibes? Like, it was just, she's bold and intense, bright. So speaking of Rare Beauty, I did pick up one of her newest releases for cream eyeshadows. She came out with a few things, cream shadow sticks, some eyeliners, brow products. I haven't tried the eyeliner or the brow stuff. I don't know if it's any good. If you've tried it, please let me know your feedback and what you think. If you want to see that in the video, let me know so I can place an order for that. I love to shop, so just let me know what you want to see. Um, so I picked up one shade just to try because I don't really need more cream shadow sticks because I have tons of them. And I talked about how much I love a good shadow stick for summer in my one and done video. If you haven't seen it, the cards here will take you to that video. I chose Contentment and it looks to be like a like a coppery rose gold taupey kind of mix do you see that oh, that is absolutely beautiful yes yes and do one eye at a time in case this sets quickly because i'm not familiar with the formula yet so i'm just going to kind of scribble this on and then with my finger blend this out Oh, she's pretty. Yes. I love that color. It's really pretty. It's kind of soft, but a little bit of depth, a little bit of smokiness, but it's not too much and it's not too light. It's just right. Yay. And the blend, let me tell you. It's so smooth. I'm going to take that same stick and use that on my lower lashes. And you might be sick of hearing me say the Makeup by Mario eyeliner pencils are great, but the Perfect Brown is amazing. The black is great. And then Pillow Talk Mascara. Do I need to say any more about this? You're probably sick of hearing me talk about this. And I, I get it. This is really good. Actually, no. You know what? We're going to back up. I remembered I have this from Give Beauty. This is the Give Beauty Can't Stop Staring Mascara. I got this with a 100 point perk. So we're going to do this and the Makeup by Mario. So scratch that. Forget about Charlotte today. <laughs> Let's put her back in the drawer. I'm going to line and kind of smudge this really close to my lashes and also tight line with it. I'm gonna choose brown. I feel like brown is probably the best tone to go with this eyeshadow color. And it's gonna give me some depth and smokiness without being too stark and dramatic and intense as the black is. Cause his black eyeliner pencil is very potent. So I'm gonna do this and then we'll test out that mascara. 
Okay, liner's done, now I need to do mascara, but I want to kind of quickly mention this swatch. I'm rubbing it and she's really not moving, so I am, whew, I'm excited about that because I am all for a cream shadow, if you can already tell. Okay, so mascara. This is the Give Beauty Can't Stop Staring Mascara. I used 100 points at Sephora to get this with my last order, and I am intrigued by this formula, and I will show you the brush. It has a round sort of ball shape. Formula does seem a little bit more wet than I prefer personally, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to wear well. Um, and that is one coat versus nothing. So that's the mascara. I did two coats on my upper lashes and one coat at the bottom. And I try to keep the bottom coat a little bit thinner and lighter because the formula is more wet and not as dry as I would prefer. I still think that my pillow talk gives me more drama and more intensity, more just more va va voom to the lashes. And I don't know. I just have to keep trying it. It's not terrible. It just didn't wow me. That's what it is. It just didn't well. You know, I have a few lip liners that are fairly new to my collection that I really haven't talked about much on camera. A few from Anastasia. I have the Dusty Rose, the Deep Taupe. Then I have this one from Rare Beauty, the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade called Worthy. I have a few of these in other colors, and it's a really beautiful formula. And then I really want to try the lip oil from House Labs. I talked about having a love-hate relationship with lip oils. They tend to make my lips feel really dry, rough, this weird texture after wearing the product for a day or a few days. I'm gonna dab off, I just ripped my paper towel, a piece of it off that's not dirty with swatches and makeup, to dab off my Makeup by Mario. Um, just because I don't want anything there to interfere with how this is going to wear and if this is gonna destroy the texture of my lips. Cause I haven't had the best of luck, as I said, with oils. Okay, here we go. Let's do the House Labs. This is the PH, PhD Hybrid Lip Oil. It's the primary one. It's the one that's that bright, like magenta pink shade. Really nice doe foot applicator. I don't think there's a smell. We'll see how this works. Is this like, like an adjusting shade? I don't know. Okay, so that automatically feels a lot more nourishing than some of the other lip oils. Wait, is that really turning color? Huh. Okay. Oh, look at that, you guys. I had no idea. I don't know if I even read the box. I think I just ripped the box and it just started playing with things. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's what the PhD stands for where it adjusts to, <laughs> good job, Lexi. Ooh, that's nice. That actually looks a little bit more pink on the lips. Huh, interesting. So there's the combo for today. And that feels so nice. Please don't do me wrong, House Labs, please don't. So this is a new setting spray. I am a stickler for my setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. It's my favorite. I don't try anything else. I don't buy anything else because this is just the ones that I've tried before just never really wowed me like Charlotte Tilbury's setting spray, but I am curious about this one. I also have this one from Rare Beauty, but I've used a lot of Rare Beauty today. So I think I'm gonna try Cali Ray. This is the Surf Proof Setting Spray, and I think this was one of those 100 point perk um, items at Sephora, or maybe it was free with a minimum spend, but regardless, it is a good size for me to try. It's 15 mils to 0.5 ounces, and I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it and see. Let's get this sprayer going. <clears throat> okay, number one, don't open your mouth when you're doing setting spray because you're gonna eat it and it tastes disgusting. Blech. So here is the completed look. What do you guys think? I think we did a pretty good job for using new products and just creating a very simple and easy look. It's not fussy, it's not heavy, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing much of anything on my face, which is always a good sign. And I really hope that these products held up throughout the day. You will see some of these, of course, in future tutorials, and I will keep you posted on what I am thinking of this 
routine, these products. Right now, all I can think about is how disgusting that setting spray tasted because <laughs> I still have the taste in my mouth. It's so gross. Um, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future so we can play with more makeup, new things, and do more full face of new products, mostly, um, new products. And I appreciate you so much for being here and taking the time to watch. Follow me on Instagram. It's always on the screen. The description box down below is going to have everything listed for you in case you're curious about any of the products that I'm using and the colors that I wear in the complexion products. It's there for you in the description box, so expand that. Take care, you guys, and we'll talk very soon. Bye-bye.